many years now, uh, Reading and District have been losing members, bums on seats, um, to places like Marsh Farm and the more commercial style fisheries. We decided to create a general mixed fishery for pleasure anglers, um, very family orientated with good facilities, flushing toilets, somewhere to buy a cup of tea, bank roll, etc. This part of Farnham Flint uh, was very underutilised and we saw an opportunity here to create everything we want. Um, the, la the lake will be around about two acres, somewhere in the region of 35 pegs. They'll all be level access, it'll be pathed all the way around. At least three of those pegs will be enhanced um, access pegs for the disabled. Work began here in mid to late January. Um, obviously it was a lot of surveying work beforehand, but physical work started around then. And fingers crossed and with a fair wind, I'm hoping to be looking to open mid-November time. One of the advantages of uh, this being a gravel pit is there's a lot of reserves of gravel and we've actually found um, an old uh, dump, gravel dump if you like, spoil heap um, that we've been able to utilise and that, that will be used for the cars and the swim. It's really important to have good facilities on site and this building will be where our CAF and tackle shop will be situated. The toilet block and showers will be situated next door. Reading District's committee, um, myself included, have been talking about a project like this for many years now, um, certainly 10 plus, and it's really good now to actually see something happening and we've started and we're well on our way. Another one of our ongoing projects is the development of our own fish farm at Thiel. It's now time to stock out into the river the roach that have been residing on the farm since 2015. The site that we've chosen for the first introduction of roach into the Kennet is Upper Benyons. When we first got these fish in 2015 they were barely an inch long. They're now three to four inch fish and in beautiful condition. They've been held in uh, earth ponds down at the fish farm and their natural diet has been supplemented by a good balanced feed. In this first stocking, we're gonna be introducing around 800 to 1,000 fish. Once again, Adam Hilliard's out helping, and without his help, none of this would be possible. Rather than stock them straight out into the main river, we've decided to stock them into a small backwater that we all know as the Ufton Loop. The Ufton Loop is perfect for juvenile fish. Uh, there's plenty of cover, um, both in the water with the plants, etc and also above the water with large woody debris and bank sized vegetation. Yeah. I'm really pleased with the condition of these fish and they're, at, they're in top shape now for the rest of their life in the river. It's really important that these fish have got the time and the space to acclimatise themselves for living in the river. Lovely to see them back in the river. Yeah, yeah, just in time to spawn next month. The spawning boards will be going out into the river this coming week and we'll be starting the whole process all over again. Mm.